I love it. All right, so the Blacks Only Comedy Show has become one of the most anticipated events on the social calendar and showcases the country's top black comedians. The comedy show celebrates its 10th year in the industry. And joining us is award-winning comedian David Cow, who needs no introduction whatsoever. <laughs> uh, he's also a sports presenter, I have to tell you, right here on the program. And uh, he's bringing with him uh, two of his, his comedians that will be performing on the show. Yeah, tonight, yeah. Sophie Sonene and uh, Mojak Lehoko. Good yeah. to have both of you. Welcome. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Us. So this is 10 years, hey? It's 10 years. Happy yeah, birthday. Happy, happy yeah. 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 Anne has also been 10 years on the show too. Uh, this yeah. is it's, it's a big, so it's a big happy 10, ten, ten years, years to you. Happy 10 years to you. Happy 10 years to, happy ten ten years to, to everyone. <laughs> happy 10 <laughs> years to you. <laughs> I was just saying to the viewers at home, I would just like to show you how sad this is. Look at, my <laughs> Look at this plate. It has two Romani creams and two peppermints with some, what, Mexican chili chips. It's six o'clock in the morning. Could you not have brought, like, something a little bit more breakfasty? This is breakfast in some areas. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet You're and right. sour. Oh, wait, so sorry, they're gums here as well. These are gums you're eating. Okay, thank you. But this is lovely. So, so 10 years, eh? You and I got a lot in common. We both married a Greek in some way, <laughs> and we've both been around for, well, you've been around for a lot longer, but I mean, 10 years doing this. So the Blacks Only Comedy, and you're telling me it's sold out. I mean, it's still such a popular event. In tonight's show, Johannesburg, sold out a couple of days ago. Uh, Cape Town tickets are still available at the, at the Compute Ticket for next Friday, 8th August, at the Grand West Casino. Yeah. Uh, we have about eight comedians in Cape Town. We have about... Ten in Joburg, some guys will pop in and do a surprise appearance thing and say happy birthday. My Mojak is in both uh, Joburg and Cape Town. Swiso is in Joburg. Yeah. Kakiso Lidija will be in Cape Town. Tats Gonzo, Robbie Collins. Uh, there's a kid from UST Drama School, Skalk Bezadenhout, because we fill up our quotas of having a minimum one white comedy. <laughs> well, I see, you know, when I read Conrad the introduction and, and, the, and the introduction said it was a comedy show for black comedians, I said, no, mm. it's not. It's a, it showcases South African talent. You do have one white sprinkled that's, in for fun. That's, that's previously disadvantaged. That, has, that, wouldn't <laughs> have had, that wouldn't have had this opportunity anywhere else. Exactly, uh, exactly. It's nice. You've got to yeah, give us a chance. He's been trying to do it for nine years, we found, uh, we found out. <laughs> so so wait let's okay let's can we let's talk yeah. Yeah. so guys have you been in this in the blacks only lineup before yes i have been you have been yes. your first time so right? my first one tonight first time. yeah oh, oh. so it should be interesting i'm and very excited though are you feeling yeah, excited about yeah, it yeah most definitely I mean, it's going to be brilliant i mean you can only imagine you saw the first one yeah and I you did. saw the lineup of the first one it was one. very rock and roll the limousine and everyone hanging out in the back oh, is there, hopefully we'll get a limo tonight <laughs> yeah. can we get a limo are you going to get a limo on my bikes and yeah like something a crusader with nice speeded Seats. That'd yeah. be cool. That'd be you don't great. need to show off anymore. I mean, a limo. Now you know. Now you bring in that. You bring in the Zola Bud. See the, that sign. That's the first poster ever had that sign of uh, blankets net or you know whites only. Yeah. And that's where the idea kind of came from. Oh really? So that was the idea. Yeah, of back then. You know, just to rip off all those apartheid uh, rules and signs and. Yeah. That's Kim Engelbrecht. Who drove in? Oh, she was the hostess when the limo came. Oh, okay, yeah, she was the driver. Yeah. Not a bad-looking driver at that. Oh, and here comes the guy, and there you are. You have an age, do you know <laughs> that? <laughs> and you know, that this hat. Is, this is 2004. This show started at 9:30 p.m. Yeah. At 7:30 p.m. there was another show there, King Size Comedy Jam, which literally had like a thousand white people and a different lineup. Wow. wow. And then after that, our show completely thousand black people in the audience it's fantastic but it's a it's it's art you can't we, you know we can all watch sports together we can all uh, cheer the class when he's winning but comedy is comedy and art is art you know if some people want to <laughs> see Sarafina and they want to hear it in the vernacular language and some people want to watch black comedians talking to them in their own language if they wish to talking about the experiences where they come from without Feel, without the comedian feeling like, oh no, this person is not going to understand what I'm saying, yeah. or is not going to get my jokes. That's that's all the show does, really. You know, yeah. it's got nothing to do with color. If if you're Greek, 
and you, there are Greek people in the audience, you, you can tell Greek <laughs> you jokes. Can okay. yeah. You're yeah. allowed to come. So I remember Chinese people are also black now. Yeah, well, in South Africa. Yeah. So they're, they, they, they're welcome. Yeah. Only, <laughs> only, only, everyone, in everyone everyone only in South Africa. Only in South Africa. So, so, okay, what's it been like for you uh, to, to be a part of it? You've done it before. So, yeah. so what was it like performing for the first time on one of these Black Sony comedy shows? Oh, it was an amazing experience. Uh, such a huge crowd, uh, thousands of people. It was never a king. Um, but I enjoyed it five years ago. Yeah. Uh, this is my, what, 20th or whatever yeah. uh, place only uh, that I'm going to do tonight. So it, uh, it, it's a great platform. It's a great platform. It, it's the biggest show in, in Africa. So it's like when you do Plex only, then you've done it all in Africa. Oh, really? So it's one of those gigs. So it yes. really is one of those that you aspire yes, to do. Yes, yes. And you've done 20 of them. Well, I We've done that. over 50 oh. Plex only shows. Well, that was what I was going to ask you. You've done yeah. 50 yeah. Plex only shows over yeah. the years. 2004 we did one, 2005 we did one. From 2003 we started doing three or four, averaging, you know, three, four thousand people a show. Yeah. And so, and then we started doing Makufe. I've done Makufe for the past six years. We've done some in PE, Cape Town, Durban. Mm -hmm. So we've done over 50 shows. Sure. That's great. That's mm -hmm. really in good. Ten years. And here you are, yeah. sitting here in the middle, thinking, <laughs> okay, so they've done 50 shows. He's done 20. He's yeah. done 50. <laughs> and you're about to do one. I'm like, I'm <laughs> like, it's like, and you're swinging on that chair. You're about to swing out the studio. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, don't mess it up. They've done 50 and I've gone really well. I don't want to be the one guy I that know. drops the ball. You better suck those peppermints. Yeah. That if it all goes wrong, at least you're going to have beautiful smelling bread. Sure. So, so, I mean... Do, did this can it take you to other levels being a part of, of Black Sony? I mean, is this one of those one of those platforms where it can actually make your career as a, as a comedian? I think uh, it does uh, because you want as many people to kind of consume your 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 comedy and see you as possible. And this is probably one of the biggest audiences uh, in Africa. And it's great to have four thousand people see you uh, do stand up as opposed to like doing a club spot where there's 13 randoms that just walked in. So this, this is a great opportunity. I'm really excited. It's going to be a great show, amazing comedians in the lineup. So I'm just, I'm just excited to be there and, and have fun on the night. So it should be great. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited. He's done work on LNN with Luis Ogala. Yeah. And, and, and he does a lot of voiceovers. Yeah. <laughs> it did. So you may have had him. I love it. Yeah, yeah you've I, never seen me, but you may I'm not going to pretend me. I know him. You know, I saw... <laughs> I saw no, oh, so I, no. Nice. I'm not going to pretend I know... You know what happened yesterday? Let me tell you a story. Yesterday, I was, I was somewhere, and I bumped into Loiso, mm. and I walked up to him, and, and I stood next to him. He's such a tall guy. And I, he looked at me, I don't know who I was. <laughs> he looked at me oh, like, wow. like, he looked at me as he had no idea. <laughs> and then someone had to say, no, you know, um, you remember Fuyo? Remember, you know that... Oh, you in the morning, hey? I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, listen oh, wow. here. I'm going to bash your kneecaps. Oh, wow. So, so listen, so, so um, you've seen the comedy landscape changing over all these years. And, I mean, I, you know, through all the years of, of interviewing and bringing in different com comedic acts, I mean, it's become a career and, and, and a really good career here. And the talent has just grown and grown in leaps and bounds. You've seen it yes. firsthand, though. What do you think? There's unbelievable South African talent. And it's all lying in the townships. And we need to find a better way, even, and more ways of, of bringing it up. Suiso actually was the winner of the first season of So You Think You're Funny. And that part of the prize was to perform on Black Song. Yes. You know, but now we haven't done So You Think You're Funny for like three years now or something. And every day people still say to me, I want to be a comedian, is it coming back? Because the difference was we went all over the place and found comedians or people that we thought had the potential, we brought them back to Joburg you know, some workshops, and eventually we had a winner. And some of the guys who didn't win still went on and have amazing careers now as stand-up comedians. So you kind of have to do it almost every year, you know, almost like a pop idol type thing. Yeah. Because the talent is there, and definitely huge opportunities for these guys to make themselves money and have a career in comedy. And beyond that, writing for television, writing for other comedians. There's a huge career and a huge business behind it. Fantastic. Well, I wish you the best of luck for tonight. Thank you. Especially you. He's written a book. Oh, yes. yes, yes. yes. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, so you've got a book yeah. out now? Yes, I've, I've, I've got a book out. Um, you, I, I'll bring a few copies tonight uh, at the show. I'll actually sell it. Uh, it's available in Devon, Adam's Books and Peter Maritzburg. 
and then bang in as well. Okay, yeah. that books, yes. Fantastic. Is. Well, all the best and good luck for Thank tonight, you. guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So, tickets still available for Cape Town, but tickets still available for Cape Town. Cape Town. ticket from 150 right? We make them cheaper than Jobert because. It's Cape Town, we understand. <laughs> <laughs> Those refugees need to pay for ah. things. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah, well, I won't comment on that one. Uh, David, thank you so much for joining us here on the program, and always, and keep up the great work. Um, and, uh, Happy yeah, 10 years so, to so, you thank you. Well. I really do, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the, thanks for the party. Bonang is back, by the way. Huh? Bonang is back. Is she? Yeah, so I don't have to do sports anymore. No, <laughs> and she's not, Valen's not here. Oh, but, you don't have a sports person No, again. you want to read it at seven again? Now I want, uh, ooh, seven. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Adila, take the weather. Let's do the weather. <laughs>